Hey everybody, Brandon from Bearded CB82. Now, in light of the weather today, uh, slightly snowy, temperature's fine out. It's about maybe, uh, it's about nine degrees outside, a little bit of a wind chill, not too bad though. So wind chill's closer to about three below. Uh, I should be out ice fishing right now. In all honesty, I need to get outdoors. But for you guys, uh, gonna spend my Saturday off that I have here in the shop getting caught up on some videos. Uh, as long as no drivers come in and bother me and tell me they broke something, which, oh well, overtime's overtime, but today we're gonna be taking a look at a few things. Like I said, getting caught up on videos. Um, gonna be doing a little bitty review on the $9, eight or nine dollar heat gun from uh, Harbor Freight. I needed a heat gun. I did not need need a heat gun for the shop. Otherwise, yeah, I would have looked for something a lot heavier duty than uh, this guy, but that's uh, another video. I've got some other little projects going on. I'm waiting for my uh, Brownells Alumahide to heat up that I picked up last time I stopped by there. And uh, my tripod's kind of crooked here. There we go. All right. So what we're gonna be looking at today, another year end review, uh, as I said, I'd get into, and we're gonna be looking directly at the Capri tools. There we go, focus you friggin', let me get out of the way. Come on. Ratchets, uh, this one's the half inch. It's seen some obvious wear and tear. And you know what, that is what it is. Uh, it's been getting used for the past pretty close to a year now. Same with the three eighths and the quarter inch. Uh, quarter inch, scene, focus. Ah, it's not one to do its job. We'll have to get the camera switched around here and uh, get after it. Um, now, ah, come on, there we go. This stuff right here, um, the video I'm gonna be doing for this is gonna be on my outdoor channel and possibly on GunStreamer as well because we know how YouTube feels about uh, Pro 2A stuff. You know, welcome to America. You know, free speech and all that jazz. But, uh, so I'll, uh, I'll post a link up here to uh, my outdoor channel so you guys can keep an eye out on that if you want but let's uh let's get you pointed at the workbench here and uh or tool cart and give you a little bit deeper thought on what i think overall on the capri tools uh 72 tooth ratchets shall we all right so as usual don't mind the uh shop sounds like the air compressor currently running in the background now in with this uh the half inch probably my heaviest used. Uh, you can see where it's starting to wear off right there, some of the chrome. I would call that typical, nominal, uh, right behind the switch. This thing does get used several times a day. Uh, there we go. Got this right here, give it something to focus on so the camera doesn't go too bad. Uh, scratches, marks, mars, uh, handle, a little bit of handle wear right there. Uh, the laser engraving, or laser etching, the number, that's still holding up quite well. And then, of course, obviously, the wear around the anvil cover. Um, taking this apart uh, one other time uh, this last month to grease it up a little bit and clean it. Uh, just something, you know, so that'd be what, first time and then nine, ten months later. 72 tooth still going strong and we're going to compare that to uh, my snap-on ratchet for wear and tear and the damn pump can't get away from it something about this cold weather just makes that pump one around this one obviously seen uh, some wear and tear then on the half inch side as well here's the other snap-on that sees a little bit more use than this guy just due to length 
uh, wear on the anvil cover there, wear on the anvil, on the handle itself as far as the chrome. I would call all of that uh, standard wear and tear. There's the compressor again. So as far as this wearing, it's not chipping, it's not flaking. Uh, the chrome job has <laughs> been very good. I, I've been impressed with that. As you can obviously see, this, you know, it's a daily use in a heavy shop. That is what I would call nominal wear on the head of the ratchet and the chrome. Uh, same with that little spot on the handle. You use the crap out of these things. And uh, that's, that's typical. It's, you know, not too far off from snap-on. I mean, let's face it. Same, I mean, look at right there, you got a, uh, there we go, right where the switch is, uh, same type of wear. So as far as their chrome job on these, they've done really well. Now the 3 8 this is more of my uh, spark plug ratchet. Uh, it's the perfect size. I've been using this nonstop for spark plugs, and you guys know how many of those I do. Um, and whenever I need, or if I can't get this into there and I uh, need something a little bit bigger than a quarter inch, I'll use this guy. Just doesn't see as much rough wear as say the half inch obviously so the chrome wear on it is less still holding up really well i could probably clean the the goat out a little bit but there you go part number there 12300 charlie same thing and then the quarter inch i do use this one as well a nominal amount as you can see uh, because it is smaller than my uh, uh, my version of this in the quarter inches snap on by about a couple inches so I do use that quite a bit I've stopped using my snap on one because I was using this one in its place uh, the snap on one is about half an inch shorter than this guy so overall some anvil cover wear there as well a little bit on the anvil a little bit on the chrome on the switch because it does get used so overall external wear on these uh nominal for what they're getting used for it's just a uh, just a fact like i said got similar wear on the snap-ons um so their chrome job perfect cost on these guys i think this is like around the 14 ish dollar mark uh, this is around the 18 ish dollar mark and of course the uh, 22 to 25 dollar mark for a half inch ratchet switch orientation switch is still positive don't have any issues with the switches on these and uh, like i said before uh, this is the old made in taiwan 72 tooth gear wrench And I've not taken this one apart and greased it in quite a while. So here's the uh, Capri tools. Here's the gear wrench. And uh, just for uh, giggle's sake, because all the Snap-on 3H 80 tooth ratchets all have the same internals, head, cover plate, all that. So you can see why some people might go towards snap-on. If you want a good, uh, I'd say on the quality, strength, durability-wise, something kind of in the middle of the road, but definitely not middle of the road on price. I know the newer gear wrenches run upwards of uh, $30 or $40 just for the 3 8 roundabouts. Same with the Carlisle, uh, Napa Pro, whatever. And these are marketed, uh, this is the, uh, and it still got a horrible switch in it, even though this one's slightly better than the last one of these that I had. Um, internals obviously different. The way the Paul engagement's different. Uh, this is a 72 tooth from Harbor Freight. It's a little lighter. The Paul engagement is a little lighter. Uh, 
The dual pulse setup is obviously different and we've taken a look at that in the past. So in comparison to this, this is uh, like 15 or 16 when it's, if you get a coupon or whatever. Um, price wise, they're the same. This one does have a little bit of a longer handle and the semi comfort grip. But to be honest with you, the non-positive switch that will free float on you, especially if you're not careful, I'd just as soon spend the money on this as a mechanic obviously people like this because they just like the uh well it's not working right or it jammed or it broke or whatever or you just take it to harbor freight and they hand you a new one uh, not a bad ratchet i will say that as far as if you're going to be using one every day in a shop i'd uh, go with that if you didn't want to spend the money on that so but this, uh, like I said before, backup, if you're starting off, home use, this will get you by. But this is overall a better quality uh, because you've got a separate pawl. You've got a single large um, pawl in this one, a single large pawl in this one, which is the gear wrench, a single large pawl in this one. Um, let's just take a look at that because, hey, I've got a rebuild kit here um, and they're all the same they're just smaller versions of each other and when i say paul there we go this is what i mean as you can see rather than being two separate pieces with some smaller teeth off to the side that's got uh this is the half inch obviously just for a better visual effect this is what engages the anvil on your ratchet one single piece less things to go along with it larger teeth and uh there's where your ball bearing for your switch go in so overall what do i think um it's going to be a good ratchet it's holding up to wear and tear Obviously, with uh, this kit, we do have some more going down the road testing to do. Uh, this was a $20.72 tooth ratchet. This has the same type of internals as the Harbor Freight. This is the Tecton. Um, I've already reviewed this one. Headwise, it's okay. It's thicker. There's that damn pump again. But the flex head on this is the weakest link on the Tecton, as I said in its review. I'll post a link up here to that review. And uh, I'll post another link to the review on this guy up here as well. So if you're going to want, made in Taiwan, well, if you're going to want something that's a little bit cheaper than snap-on that's a little bit cheaper than what gear wrench is going with and since gear wrench was bought out by apex tools after i got this um, there's a lot of people that have some quality issues with the gear wrench now uh, the warranty issues with gear wrench uh, warranty on these guys is pretty uh up and straight i talked to one other person that on the channel here who had went and got one and he had some now you always get just a little bit of weeble wobble on your head slop from any ratchet um, the quarter inches are usually a little bit more noticeable on any ratchet be it gear wrench or snap on he had one it might have been uh, before they changed out the tooling on the three eighths where it had a quite a bit more wobble than usual he said he shimmed it with a uh, like a ten thousandths shim because he works in a machining industry and uh, used one of the shims that they had on hand and he said that fixed it right away but they did uh, he got a hold of the company though they did send him out a new ratchet to replace the other ratchet and a rebuild kit as well so if you've got one right off the bat you know you can either uh, go the uh, rebuild kit route or they will send you a because 
Rebuild kit does come with a new faceplate, which is nice. But they will send you a new ratchet if need be, especially if it's brand new. And it's like it was uh, something like a day or two later they mailed they had it in his mail. So on the warranty side, I haven't had to deal with them yet on anything. Uh, nothing's broken from Capri Tools. So if you've got an issue with them, uh, apparently their customer service, from what I understand, is uh, pretty top notch as well. So you're getting a pretty darn decent tool for the cost and their customer service from what I understand is uh, pretty top-notch as well so there you have it uh, overall just due to the 72 tooth count I'd give these an 8 out of a 10 in comparison to say snap-on being you know up there 10 um, 8 stars is phenomenal the Harbor Freight ones, I'd give them about like a five and a half star rating. And the prices on Harbor Freight stuff's going up. Uh, I think the prices on these have gone up like a dollar in the past year, maybe. But overall, every once in a while, Amazon does have some deals. Uh, links down below for these three guys. And there might be more stuff coming down the line as far as their ratchet lineup from what I've understood. So maybe uh, we'll get a see those down the road as well there you have it everybody capri tools uh reasonably priced and definitely as far as their quality goes they're holding up quite well anyways you guys have any questions leave them down below you'll find links down below and uh we'll chalk this up to another good year-end review Remember, shop safety is just as important as firearm safety. You screw something up, somebody could die. Stay safe out there.